<laughs> Welcome to working on cars. Uh, Chris Fix, you better watch your ass because yeah. Ethan is after your job. I'm after your ass. Enjoying it? Nope. Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Ethan. And today I'm going to be sitting down. Why is that? Because you, you're making me do stuff again. You may remember a few months ago, Ethan did the uh, service on this Honda Jazz. Oh, oh no, I've got the Allen key. It's, it's all in there. Hang on. This is going horribly. I say you did it. You did half a job because you only did four out of the eight spark plugs. But that was on me because I didn't realise there were eight spark plugs. Yeah. Today, <laughs> we're going to do... Well, we, you, are going to do the brakes and the discs on the Jazz because you think that there's a bit of a noise going on. Yeah. I've had a quick look at the discs. They do have quite a big lip on them, so they should get done. Okay. So explain what we've got in front of us. Um, well, we've got standard jack. Um, That's your mate and two there. Yeah. yeah, need that. Brakes. Uh huh. Drill. Drill, um, drill for. I guess cleaning something. You explained it very differently just now before the camera was rolling. <laughs> you, you held it up and you looked at me and you said you were going to do what? Shh, grab it in your. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not going to edit that out. We're going to keep it in. <laughs> what else have we got? Stands. That's. 18-piece um, metric impact socket set, I think. Excellent, yeah. I think that one's your 36, yeah, but yeah, yeah, 36-piece bit socket set, yeah. What's in here? That's a torque wrench. Wow. And then this is called the... Uh, um, breaker bar. Oh! High five. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Right, so first things first, uh, I think you need to jack up the car. Actually, everyone actually, I don't want to do that. I think I need to loosen these first, just ever so slightly. Very good. This is going to be so easy. I, I haven't even changed a wheel before. Well, I've not, I've not taken a wheel off, which oh. I assume I'm going to have to do now. Before we start, I phoned up a reputable garage. It rhymes with... Dick fit. Yes. <laughs> It does. <laughs> Dick bit. <laughs> Dick bit. And I pretended to be an old man with a Honda Jazz and I said, how much roughly, as a guesstimate, I hate that word, would it cost to do discs all round, discs and pads all round? He came back with anywhere between 260 and 280 pounds. I mean, it's fairly high, for example, let's just say 100 quid all in for the brakes yeah. and discs. And if you can do this in two hours, what time is it now? If we can do, do it before the sun goes down, I'll be happy. <laughs> Where's the locking wheel nut gone? Gonna need something to... You are. Marry them. Yes. Every time you go out of your seat, me, is a minute that you have to help me. <laughs> so you don't want to go to the low or eat lunch. All right. Oh. Wow. Is that on? No, probably not. It will, it it'll be a really nice snug fit in there. It's not at all. Ah. Oh. Wow. Oh. There you go. Wow. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you oh, go. That was right. Wow, that was nice. I'm in the groove now. There you go. Careful. Quite a heavy jack. That's ridiculous. It's strong, but it was cheap, which is why it's about 40 kilograms. And before Ethan got started, he actually put two bricks behind the rear wheels. The car is in park, obviously, and the why is that uh, handbrake is on. Sorry? Oh, do I need to do something? Oh. I need to turn that nipple or something, don't I? Yeah. Although this is a two in one. It's already built in there. So what do you think you oh, might so have I to do? Oh, so I twist this? Yeah. Like that? Would that be the right way? No, that's the oh, wrong that way. that would probably be the right way. Is that done? I don't know. Oh, that doesn't sound right, does it, Jack? Can we not do that today? I think you should move back a bit, Alex. Yeah, I think you're right. That was a close shave. Speaking of close shaves, we want to talk to you about this week's video sponsor, Harry's, a no-fuss razor company that helps millions of people each day shave in a premium, hassle-free way. And Harry's has sent us this trial box to show you, which includes a weighted handle with textured rubber grip, a five-blade razor cartridge, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the move, which we are a lot. And it's great value, with refills starting from £1.75 and the German-made blades are sharp and durable, guaranteeing you a close and comfortable shave. Harry's have just released their new blades. They're now sharper, stay sharper for longer and are exactly the same price as the old blades. What's more, Harry's also donates 1% of their global sales to non-profit charities for men's mental health. So show them some love by signing up and supporting them like they've supported us. 
Get your trial set for just $3.95 plus a free shower gel by clicking on the link in the description below. I think you should move back a bit, Alex. Yeah, I think you're right. Because they, they tend to joking? explode on the jazzes, don't they? Yeah. Are you joking? Maybe. <laughs> they tend to explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're off. Oh, there we go. We are off. We're airborne. Okay. Where are we going with it? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to get up, aren't I? Yeah, and that's another minute for me. Uh, that, yeah, do that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. I think I need one more. All right. All right. Whoa, whoa, all, all right. right. All right. Calm right. down. All right, all right. Sorry. All right. That'll do. Well, don't move it. All right. And then very all. slowly down. Okay. In a controlled manner, please. Okay. Get back in case it explodes. Right, for safety, because we're doing one side at a time. Just keep that jack there on the okay. sill. That's a good idea. Obviously, axle stands as well, especially with jazzes, they, they tend to just disintegrate. So when you're working on it, you don't want that falling, because if it falls on you, then you'll explode, the car will explode, and I don't, I don't want anything to do with that. You just want it to be snug in there. I'm sure you've gone through 360. Oh, I've actually, oh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> right, you look after that. Okay. No. My fingers are getting dirty. I've nearly taken a wheel off. I've genuinely never done this before. What can't I do? We're about to find out. <laughs> Brakes, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, oh! Right, so what we've got here, this is, um, that's calipers, discs, pads are in there. How's your uh, blinker fluid reservoir? That's not a thing. Okay, but this is where, this is where I'm done, so. No, you haven't even started. How's the disc? How are the pads? This looks all right. Yeah? Maybe give it a bit of a feel. Yeah? Yeah, run your finger up the whole disc. Yeah. Is that good? The big lip on the inside and the outside, you think that's standard? What, that? Yeah. I've got no idea. Well, crack on with it. Well, I don't know what to do now. I genuinely don't know what to do now. Okay, well, what do you think you have to do? I think that wants to come off. <laughs> This, uh, this needs to come Yeah, off. there yeah. we go. Right, so. I think it's these two here. I can't actually see what you're doing, but yeah, <laughs> let's, let's then. assume. What are you doing there? Sit there if you're sitting, have a line of sight. Well, you'll have to move me because every time I get up, apparently, I owe you a minute. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Ow. I'm gonna need, I think an 11. For the, the famous Japanese 11. Japanese cars loves it, love 11s, don't they? Very good, it was a 12. We'll edit it, so you yeah, just go straight yeah. to, yeah. I think this is a 12. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Lefty Lucy, but I'm looking at it, so it's, yeah. Righty Lucy. Yeah. Oh, 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 I've done it. You've done it. I've done it. Wow. Oh. oh. Wow, I'm Get so, I'm, out of here. I'm caliper is just gonna flop down in it. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Right. Because what we'll do, if that happens, we'll just cable tie it. With what cable ties? There'll be some around. Right, so is there anything coming off or not? No. Oh, oh, that was difficult, wasn't it? Okay, right. That wasn't difficult. Okay, so there you go. I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Wow. Your wife's going to be so impressed. She is. There we go. Ooh. Oh, there's not a lot of meat left on that, is nah. there? Yeah. Yeah, there's much not, meat on not a lot of meat on the old one, is there? It's good that uh, you're changing yeah. it. Oh. Do you want to use this? Little pry bar? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, easy. Whatever. Whatever. Very, very similar story on these ones. So you can see that these have been worn down over time. So what we're going to be doing is changing them. Wow. Couple more bolts. Okay. That one do it? Quick as you like. What, you're locking no, wheel now? No, that won't do it. No, probably not. <laughs> Are we also going to start with a quite small ratchet? We'll start with it. Okay, we'll start with that, just to loosen it, right? Yeah. And then we'll use the breaker bar just to get it off. Well, I don't know if you're going to get that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to working on cars. Uh... I didn't do anything, what did I do wrong there? Well, you didn't put it on properly, did you? And it slipped off. 
Oh, that hurts so much. Yeah. Let's try the breaker bar. Today's a good day. Look at what, I'm so dirty as well. This is bullshit. I think I might have the wrong one. This one. I don't, I don't know. You just, <laughs> just before you put it on there, are you sure? It's a 16. Let's try a 16. Well, you have a 16 in That's your hand. That's an 18. 17's probably likely. Oh, might be a 17. Might be a 17. All right, again, we'll just edit it. Yeah. So say that line again. Um, so this next bolt is a 17. Oh, that, that can't be undone, that one. So you're not getting very good leverage there, are you? So why don't you put it back in how you had it, and then if you crawl over there, watch my finger like yeah. a dog, and then you can use your foot. This like, isn't really advisable. Like that? Yeah. Is that, is that coming? Oh my God, that's all I've got. That's all you got. I might have to activate you for another minute. Try sitting here and like putting your foot on oh, it. Oh, thanks. There you that's, go. That'll do it. That, that'll probably do it. Just do, do the it. other one while you're there. Get out of my seat. Ow! Scraped my finger. Oh! oh. That was good. Right, now, because I've done that, yeah. what you want now yeah. is the smaller ratchet. Okay. You are like a, a more comprehensive version of Chris Fix. I'd say so. Yeah. Chris Fix, you better watch your ass, because yeah. Ethan is after your job. I'm after your ass. God, you're going to end up pushing Did you even car. loosen that one? Yeah. Go on. Go on. You've tightened this back up, I swear <laughs> you have. I haven't tightened it up. That is bullshit. Oh, wow, that went, didn't it? Go on, that's it. Go on, go on, Ethan. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> it can't be done. Go on, go on, it's moving. Go on, oh, yes. Wow, that was impressive. Thank you. Enjoying it? Nope. Where have I put the other one? Have you lost? stuff in two square meters. I'm not sure. I'll right, we'll worry about that later. Now you want to take the brake disc off. Okay. So that's just, you pull it off. Yeah. So what you want to do now yeah. is you need to undo this one, I think, and then you take it off. Are you sure? No. You said I might need a hammer for this. Yeah, you might do. Just, just knock it. Before you do that, yeah. Is there anything else that could be holding the disc in place? Looking at this disc, yep. where are these holes? In the middle. Yeah, but where on the disc is this? Is this the back? The back. Is it? The front. Oh. Oh. These. Oh. Right, screwdriver, you got one? No. Should do I get you, one? I mean, do you have a screwdriver? Yep. I mean, it might be useful. Drill? Yeah, why not? I've got a drill ready for you if you need it. Oops. Oh, don't round it. Yes. And then what will happen is this will just come away. Oh, just like that. Having a look at that though, the whole hub assembly. Yeah. You're happy with everything? Actually, I reckon we can maybe give that a bit of a clean. Can we? Could do. Oh, excellent. We've got a wire brush on the drill anyway. Uh, oh. As oh. if by magic. Oh, look at that. There you go. I mean, is there anything that needs wire brushing? Might not be. You might just want to use some brake cleaner. Could just maybe actually just use, actually yeah. if we probably just need some brake cleaner. Oh. You don't have to be that careful with it. It's, it's okay. going to be okay. What we're just doing here is just cleaning up this face. Yeah. Why are we doing that? So when we put the new one on, yeah. it will just marry up nicely. Oh. Oh, they're so heavy, aren't they? You're just going to chuck them on? I might put some brake cleaner on there. Why is that? Just so it marries up OK. <laughs> if you have a little feel of the face, they're covered in oh, kind yeah. of oily, horrible residue. Is that good? No, that's not good. You could be doing this. I could. I could be doing something else. Instead, I'm just sitting on a chair. You've got it so easy. You've got no idea. Have you ever done anything like this? No, no. Yeah, that, that'll probably do you. Yeah? Be, yeah, now you want to do the front oh. as well. That is the front. Oh no, that's the back. Don't get your grubby mitts oh, all over no. it. You've just cleaned it and now you're just getting your grubby mitts on the back again. I want to get that grass off. Yeah, yeah, the, the heat properties of grass aren't that good. It doesn't matter yeah, which okay. way they go up, you just need to have these. Okay. Right? I don't know. Sounded like you were being the expert there. It doesn't say up or down anywhere. 
<laughs> Imagine if a freight is going up and down. Right, what you want to do is not chuck it on. Right. Just carefully line it all up. Okay. Oh, feels good. Oh. Have you got me the wrong ones? I don't think so. Well, it doesn't line up. Do any of them line up? Oh, these ones. Oh, they line up. Oh, wow. Oh. I've changed the brake disc. I want to put the carrier back on. Yeah. <laughs> Those are brake pads. And what you want to do is you get, when you get these on, you need to torque these up to the right setting. Was I right? Was I right? You were right. What's it saying? Torque settings, club jazz. Let's have a look. I'm going to have to be part of club jazz now. Yeah? Club jizz more like. Yeah. I'm already part of that. Look how good they look. I did that. Hello. You're doing all right. Except my finger. <laughs> you know when you lose all feeling in it when you smash something? Oh yeah. Flip that. The torque setting please, Alex. Uh, I'm still working on it. Uh, um, right, have you got some copper grease? Because what we want to do is put some copper grease there. Yeah? So they slide in. This is copper ease. Yeah, they, uh, it's cheap stuff, so they um, got rid of the G and R, the R. And what this does is just, it's, it's sort of like for the next person that comes to change it. It just helps them out a bit. It's like a, I've got you. Yeah. Maybe it also stops the brakes from squeaking considering they go. Sometimes. So what you want to do is get some copper grease on, but you don't want to get it on the actual face of the brake pad. Why is that? So it'll slip off. This might be the greatest thing I've ever done. I mean, you've had a child, but okay. Oh yeah, good point. Bloody hell. You haven't. You have. Look at that. I did that myself. Wow. I am sorry. Right, so the front carrier bolts, Ethan. Yep. 108 newton meters. Yeah, just chuck it all about, it's fine. 108 newton meters. I've seen you and Gareth do this and you twist something. Alex, if you could put 108 newton meters into there, I'm just going to check what's going on here a sec. Well, actually, I can only put 100 in because it only goes up to 100. Oh. So we'll go up to 100 and then we'll give it a little twist afterwards. Gareth actually bought me this, cheaped out. Christ oh, no. oh, that's a good feeling, isn't it? God, all these things I'm ticking off here. All these firsts. Which one did I just do? The Top one. Did I? What's going on? I don't know. Well, I can't remember which one I did. It's a bit concerning when we know more of what you're doing than you do. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't apologise. You've just, you've just smashed it out of the park. Now what we want to do is wind the caliper back. I've got no idea what that means. How long have we been doing this? What time is it? Uh, a couple of hours. What time did we start? We started at 12. What time is it now? I mean, it's, it's only 20 to 2. Is it actually? Yeah. One hour, 40 minutes. That's, oh my God, that's going to be two hours per corner. Doing well. Thank you. Let's just crack on. Okay. I, I'm going to need lunch soon. I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't sit anymore. All right, have a look at the piston in there. First things first, let's have a little inspection of the piston. I don't know what the piston is. That big metal thing. Yeah. Yeah, how does it look? Fine. I don't know what I'm looking for, well, so it's pointless. I'm going to have to get out again. Look, this is all a bit gunked up as well, so look at that, that's disgusting. So my advice to you would be yeah. clean that off as well, because this yeah. slides in and out, doesn't it? Yes. So push, the, push the brakes. Yes, push, push the brakes, very good. So if you have loads of gunk in it, then it will make it more difficult. These rubbers will start splitting. Yeah. So what you're doing Ow. here oh God, is prolonging the life. That's, uh, that won't go on. That won't go on, no, you're right. We need to wind that back. We do, yeah. Um, Alex, could you grab me the... No, um, I'm not getting up again. Someone's gonna have to help me here. <laughs> do you want lunch? <laughs> I can only use that until we've eaten. I'm going to be stuck afterwards. I usually used to do this with a hammer. Do you actually? Yeah. Get the end of a hammer, just put it on your chest, and then just push it in, actually. I've done it, Ethan. Okay. 
we can probably get it on now. We probably can. Oh no. Do these pop in a little bit? Oh, look at that. That's, that's interesting. That's lucky. Yeah, that is very lucky. It's like they've made it to work like that. Yeah. 35 Newton meters. Yes. What am I looking for? 35 Newton meters. Is something moving? Well, before you put it on, just check that it's the right. Yeah. Yeah, we're happy with that. That's a good tip. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh. There you go. You've just changed the brakes on one corner. You've got one more thing to do. Well, you two more things to do. Yeah, put the wheel on. Yeah, before you do that, yeah. what are you going to do? Copper grease these nuts. We just <laughs> copper grease the face a little bit. Okay. Why is that? Just so we're looking out for the next person. Because? We don't want them to have a tough time. Taking the wheel off, because the wheel can pretty yeah. much just weld itself Ah, uh, yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, we don't want that. So you just, what, just rub it around? Yeah, just, just a little bit. You don't need to go crazy. All right. Yeah. Any more? Well, yeah, I mean, the whole face. Well, yeah, but, yeah, 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 but yeah. just for that section. Yeah, yeah. Also, just a few lines yeah. up there. Here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're not having me on? I don't know, am I? I don't think I want any on there, do I? I don't know, do you? Just tell me for crying out loud. I've never done this before. <laughs> Jack? Jack. I'm not being the person to tell, <laughs> that tells you to do that. <laughs> think about this logically, yeah? Do you want to have grease on the face of your brakes? No. <laughs> no. Well, then what are you doing with that? Well, what have you told me to do? What are you trying to do here? Okay. Right. Now we want the wheel. Now you want the wheel. Uh. Yeah? Uh. Very good. And that is how you change your brakes. Well, you, st you still need to do that up tight. Yeah, when it's like, when you, you get back down and you tighten it up, and then that is how you change your brakes. But Quite you've right. got to do another three. Yeah, you've got three more to go. We've got three more, so yeah. Well, you do. Yeah, I mean, Jack and I, we're going to have some lunch now, and we'll just leave you to crack on. Come on, you. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sod of a Oh! Ugh. Bloody hell. God. Good on you. You're going to need that in about 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you pass that back, please? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Christ <laughs> almighty. This is really good, Ethan. Oh, I'm glad. God, you and I, Jack, are going to get through those potato fries. No trouble. Yeah. How's it going, Ethan? You're not eating yeah. today? Well, I can't. You could help me finish this, and then we could all eat together. It's got jalapeno in it. Is it? Mm. Oh. Where's the copper grease? Ethan, look. It's got a little jalapeno in it. Oh, oh that's great, Jack. Mm. That's good. Please for you. You don't like jalapenos, do you, Ethan? I do. How quickly have I done this one? Are you done? Yeah. All the torque settings done? 35 torqued, newton meters on those? Torqued. Ethan, what time is it? Shut up! You've done that in about... 35 minutes, I reckon. That's not bad. Mm. You've saved yourself 200 pounds. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Well, you didn't really mean much help, but... Next time I won't bother. <laughs> you won't bother what's sitting next to me. Can I have some food, please? You may. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Right, we've eaten. Alex is working on that side. He's entrusted me to do this side. Oh, crikey! Why is that one on so tight? You know why? Why? Because someone didn't copper grease it. Oh. What were they doing? You won't film it that way. So we're just doing the pads on the rear because these screws on Alex's side are not liking being taken out. So we don't want to go too much further with them. What we need is we need to get two new screws to keep the that assembly in because uh, I've rounded them by trying to take them out. So Alex has f***ed it. I have f***ed it, yeah. Plus your discs on the rear aren't too bad. Oh! You're tightening again. Oh shit. <laughs> Done it again. Oh! Just cut that first bit. Oh, this f***ing sod of a is in the way. Oh, you f***. Oh, f 
This is such a faff. Are you f kidding me? Oh. You in? Yeah. He's got to wind the caliper in now. Well, I didn't know how to do it at the front, and it looks harder on the back. Alex, look on your little feet, round the other side and get it, so you can crack on with it. That's one nil. Oh, shut up. Something like that. Yeah, so you need to wind that That's... in a little bit. Oh, hold that, hold that. Oh. Oh, 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 you didn't want that to fall out. You do it, you do it, and then everyone's happier. Ah, ah, what's happening? Ethan's got himself caught in a bush. <laughs> ah, ow. Right, I'll come in and take the glory. All right. Am I going up or down? <laughs> Does it stop? It stops. Well, there you go. That's how you change brake discs and brake pads for dummies. Yeah. And like we said, if Ethan can do it, anyone can. So, yeah. Don't be scared to do it. There we go. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed learning about basics, car basics. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Check out more car throttle videos down there and check out Harry's in the description below. And thank you very much to them for supporting us. Make sure you support them. We'll see you next time. All right. I'm Suspension gonna go next. Just, yeah. Let's go. Should we start that now? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going right. to try this way. You right. start over there. Bye I'll bye. Go, I'll go and get it jacked yeah, up. Okay, yeah, cool. My oh my.